Hello and happy Sunday, everyone. I want to do a quick business update video because I haven't done this in a little while and I get comments all the time. Why don't you make more business videos? Why don't you touch on this, touch on that? I will. I want to make more sales, marketing, business videos because honestly, those are the videos that I like to make the most. But for whatever reason, YouTube just does not push this content as much. So if you enjoy this content, please click the like button on this video. It'll show YouTube that, hey, we're doing a good job here. There's some good content. It would help me out and I would appreciate it very much. So on to the business. Things are finally picking up with the moving company. In the last about four or so weeks, we finally kind of saw like an upswing out of the trenches, the pandemic trenches that we were in. We were down 40 to 50% each month compared to the same month last year, which is actually down even more than that if you compare it to what our expectations were because pretty much every year we do about 20% more sales each month than that same month the year before, and now we were down 40 to 50% each month. So there's a huge disparity there as far as where the sales should have been. Then in the last four weeks or so, we brought that up and now we're down 25% compared to last year. Still not great, but there's this slowly this upswing and I'm really hoping that that continues and things get to normal numbers before the fall, which is then again our slow season. So it was really unfortunate that this pandemic had to happen during the summer in our busy season. But uh, what are you gonna do? At least we're gonna survive. Don't have any debt with the business, so we'll, we'll be just fine but hopefully by next year, things are completely cleared away and there's just fewer companies remaining, so that just means more sales for everyone. One interesting thing is to see if potentially moves pick up now that the moratoriums on rent are, are done, but I just know with the pandemic, there's so many people who just don't wanna move because they're like, let me just stay here, stay safe just in case. So we'll see how things uh, pan out in the fall. If it's Maybe it'll be in a regular fall where we see more sales than than normal in the fall and winter. With the storage business, things are actually doing okay. Um, I have 35 storage vaults out here in the warehouse. Over here, you can't see it right now, but um, we have 35 of those. Just got this warehouse in February and 24 of them are actually full. It was the goal to get 50 full uh, by the end of summer. So we're not gonna hit that goal, but 24 full, can't complain too much there. The sizes are either $60 a month or $64 a month. So you can do the math there. Nice little reoccurring income. Hopefully by this time next year, it is significantly more full, if not close to capacity. Capacity is around 100 and low hundreds, 120 or so that can be fit in here. And at those, at those levels can make some pretty decent passive income with the storage. So I'm really excited about that. I'm excited that they're actually filling, filling up and Looking forward to get all those filled and then potentially buy some more storage uh, vaults. One major complication that we've been dealing with more than ever, and I don't like complaining about this because so many business complain about it, is hiring right now and finding good people. I don't really like this as a complaint because every business owner is like, I can't find good help, it's impossible. And I always just think, well, that's a lie. You're just not working hard enough to actually find people. It's hard to find good people, but if you, make it a priority, you can do it. For my business in the past, I usually, my rule of thumb is for every 150 to 200 applicants, we usually make one hire. So it takes going through a lot of people to find one really good person. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of recruiting, but right now we're just not getting the applicants. Where in the past we might get 150 applicants in a week, we're getting now six, seven applicants in a week. Um, that's on Indeed and Craigslist. I find that those work best for labor workers. It's just, it's crazy. I've never dealt with anything like this where we're actually having to turn down jobs now because we simply don't have enough manpower, despite the fact that we're trying to do interviews and hire people as much as possible. We were also hiring for an office worker recently. That got filled, but even with that, it was crazy to find someone to, to fill the position. Like people, even the people who are responding to ads aren't responding again uh, after we you know, ask them a couple of questions as just a follow-up before we have them come in for an interview. It's craziness out here as far as hiring goes. So I hope that that problem is solved more than really anything. I just hate having to turn away 
potential work because of that reason. Um, I know you guys like when I <laughs> when I talk about these uh, the the truck craziness that for whatever reason in the last month or two we've been going through with repairs, the truck starting on fire, the brakes going out on a truck. One weird thing: two trucks in the same week had the front left blinker go out. Neither of them were bulbs. You know, normally a blinker goes out, you're like, ah, let me just go buy a bulb for, you know, three, four dollars, put it in, it works. Neither of them were bulbs, neither of them were sockets. The normal mechanic came out, couldn't figure out what was going on there. We had to have an electrical specialist come out and so random, same week, one of them, there was a wiring issue, it needed to be rewired. And then the other one, there was some kind of internal issue. I, it was hard to understand what exactly he was saying. Both of them are now fixed, but it was just so crazy that the same week this thing happened that I've never heard of happening to any other vehicle. I've never had that happen in the past five and a half years that I've had this company, multiple trucks. It was just wild. And uh, I mean, really, that's kind of about it. Almost at 100,000 subscribers with the YouTube channel. I'm working on a, on a potential investment on potentially purchasing another business at some point within the next year or so. I've been working with some investors there. If that's something that any of you out there are interested in, um, feel free to shoot me an email. Uh, that's It's going to be a potentially huge deal. There's a lot of uh, due diligence that needs to be done beforehand, but I'm looking at some point in the future purchasing a much larger business and uh, kind of operating out of that and making that my main focus. If any of you are interested, feel free to shoot me an email there. But really, that's about it. I wanted to give you guys a nice quick update. If there's anything that you want me to talk about, uh, whether it be marketing, sales, potentially you're having a hard time hiring, you need some advice or something like that, feel free to send me a message or leave a comment below and I'll, if I have a good idea on how to address it, I will. But until next time, I'd like to thank you for watching and I hope you have a profitable day.